So again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have some leftover colors. An edge catcher, which I can probably pour paint off onto if I need to. And some gorgeous colors I want to use. And I think I'm going to go ahead and grab my big bottle of black. Because that will at least be something I can pour my other colors on, to, on top of. I'm never exactly sure how this is going to work out. That's my Anita's Metallic. My bottles may have plugged up while I went inside to download movies, but they shouldn't be too awful bad. The rain has come and come again. I thought I escaped it, but evidently no. So my plan is to take the 18 by 24 inch canvas that I have behind me, swipe on some colors like I have done just previous to this, having some fun with my choices and covering the background. After I pick and choose colors I love now, and even though I'm going to put the colors I like in the in the containers, I may also add colors if I use a shovel or a scoop right before I do right before I add them to the canvas. I have a brand new color that I keep forgetting to pull out, and it is an emerald green from Decor Americana. And it's here somewhere, and I'm going to find it, but it, find it, there it is, if it kills me. <laughs> and it, it's a Zynga. <laughs> I probably have some purple from Decor Americana, too, I'm just not sure. That could even be it. So it doesn't matter how much or how little paint I get in these containers, really, at this point. Because the truth is, I can always add more colors to my shovel. That was some silver. This is, an, this is a mixed color. It probably should just be used as an extender. I like to put a little bit of the neon pink in there. And I may decide to put some orange in afterwards. In the meantime, I think my purple flash, which is color changing from folk art, is always my go-to welcome addition. <laughs> addition, right. It's the uh, the bottom line. I've been using the uh, the Venetian blue from Modern Masters. I usually put a little bit of enamel in. In this case I'm going to put some black in because I don't always like what the white does. It seems to cloud things up a little more than I want. And since there's gold over here, I'm just going to put gold wherever I want. So, now comes the fun part for me. Well, it's all the fun part for me, honestly. Let's see if I can keep from spilling that. That would be great. And grab my canvas. Now, that edge catcher wasn't helpful last time. These 18 by 24 inch canvases have a stretcher bar. So, I can camp that a little on my turntable and probably be pretty lucky. So that's some, some dioxidine purple. That's regular Artist Loft white with Walmart semi-gloss white. Not sure what's going to happen here. Not trying to make any sense of anything. Just having a good time putting color down. We shall see, we shall see what happens. I think I'm going to risk some of that green. And it, it does feel risky. But those are good colors to be risky with. I have this turquoise too. This is the fun part. I think maybe because I have no lack of confidence about my ability is to make something work. I am willing to take more risks than some people. I do.
do not have enough room for this process on my turntable, I tell you now. Oh no, don't tell me this is going to be another one of those that I just decide I'm done. Well, no, not really. Whatever happens, it's just a start. I'm going to try and run my spatula along the edge of all the, all the sides of the canvas so that I don't have any naked edges showing. I want some more of that... Um, We got beautiful cells coming up. See that white definitely mutes things quite thoroughly. But I don't see any excess of that emerald, so I'm inclined to go ahead and throw some more of that in there and see what happens. Because again, hey, that's the name of my first book on the Amazon link underneath the link tree, which is under the video which holds all my links. Come on, stop running into things, please. I just annihilated some really nice cells. And I have to decide if I'm happy with this because I really don't have anything that I love going on down here. So what I'm thinking is... That may not have been thinking at all. <laughs> I wish that that would unplug. I really, really, really do. There's obviously something in that tip. Getting ready for Christmas for the red and green. But I love the magenta. You know, I'm completely inclined to pull out some chain and see what happens if I play with the background. And I've got a bunch of pieces. I even have a really long piece. I wonder what that would be like. And when I get a puddle of paint, I can pull it right over the edge of the canvas. So then I have something to cover my edges. That's cool. I always like that. Really long piece of chain. Probably still going to use my shovel. Might tip if I see that there's a whole lot more of those puddles. Don't ever forget, you can always pick your chain up. And as you pull it toward the edge with a puddle of paint on it, it's a really good time to let that paint fall right down over and cover that edge. If you don't over manipulate your paint, even though this is looking pretty over manipulated to me right now, you can usually keep your colors, they'll come back somewhat. Because there's white in there, I just keep exposing things. I like the chain, the shapes I'm making, to tell you the truth. It's hypnotic, almost. I want some of that magenta, that, uh, that purple acrylic multi-surface stuff. I kind of feel like I'm a little busy annihilating my favorite colors and areas of paint. But if I keep picking up the chain, I'm usually okay. And I can take all of that paint and use it. Now I haven't given up the idea of using what I've got that I put in my containers for shovel. And really, what I'd love to do is add more paint to this, but I'm afraid that if I add more paint to it, I won't be able to do anything with my shovels. I've got some gray tones, which isn't really, really hurting my feelings, but I am going to throw that chain in the bucket and grab a clean, shorter piece.
because I can make better spirals with shorter pieces. And spirals is what I like to do. I want to be a little careful about spattering because I don't really like seeing extra trails on things. I don't know, I could still get to a point where I decide that I don't want to uh, add any shovels full of paint, especially with these great cells down here. I just want to steal that whole puddle of paint that showed itself to me in that chain. Not seeing any gold in there. I don't actually remember putting any gold down, so I guess I wouldn't expect to. They're kind of fugly colors. I mean, they're beautiful, but they're different and a little fugly. I sort of just love following my intuition while I'm doing this. And I could most certainly torch to release some bubbles and see what else got released as far as patterns go. But I'm nervous that once I do that, I'll cook the surface of the painting to the point where I won't be able to play as well. So you saw what I just did. I, I went through a purple area and then I used the purple to add to a new area. I'm nervous right now because people have noticed that I go through like, I don't know, six paintings on the way to one and I think that this is kind of cool and if I don't stop and I go on, I don't know what I'm going to get. But I really can't live in that headspace because if I do, some of the coolest things I've ever done wouldn't have happened. I have almost all my edges covered, at least three. Well, three and some. <laughs> not, not as many as I thought. And it's still time to contemplate the shovel pour. I like that the gray is happening. I really, really do. I mean, I know people are generally speaking afraid of making brown and dulling out their paint, and I paint with bright colors so that I don't have to worry about that so much. I can actually steal some of the paint in the heavier spots and not hurt the composition, I think. So I always love experimenting with new shapes. They don't always work, of course, but sometimes they do. Like, that's pretty cool. It's time for a new piece of chain. So no matter how much light I like gray, it's not as attractive as I wish it were. trying to see if there are any places that I really don't like with the vague intention in mind of maybe saving this as it is, but I think I'm going to go ahead with my original plan. Although this is pretty cool. Very muted, but definitely cool. Would have probably been a good time for another piece of chain. Rinse my fingers off. All right, so now I'm going to do what I said I was going to do, whether I like it or not. And this time I'm going to throw some orange on top of the on top of the purples with gold and the rest of that. And I'm going to try and tip this. But I may just follow some of the marks inside the patterns that I've already made with the chain. Because that might be very cool. And if I tip 
onto an edge catcher, then any paint that I want to save can come back. This is this is part of my plan. In honest, all honesty, I want to explore changing textures in, inside the pouring medium by using tools. So this is stage one with that. And things are moving in a somewhat random way, and that's okay, because that's what accidental art is about. I do have a small puddle on my edge catcher, and I can scrape it off. There's my shovel. I'm going in for seconds. And I'm just going to keep putting some orange on the surface, because that seems to be the only way that I can really manage it to have it come out the way I want to. Now, I could put some more... It sort of pays for me to look and see what I'm doing before I start willy-nilly. And I can put puddles down. I like to call them caterpillars when I go back and forth. And I think this, the nice thing about the background is it means I could probably stop at almost any time and be pretty happy. And the reason I add the paints in stages, if you haven't noticed before, is because in stages they spread out in stages so that I can go back in and the heaviest, newest paint will always flow. Oh, I'm going to run out of time. Well, I've got two minutes and I'll start to tell you whatever I'm going to tell you, which is I do sell my artwork. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. If you shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you, it helps me out, and I really appreciate that. I want to thank everyone for the donations that help keep me painting at YouTube and keep me making videos. Thank you so much for your generosity. Thank you for your wonderful comments, too, for keeping my morale boosted. I am going to grab, I think that green has got to go either for another day. But I'm going to grab a hold of the paint I've got, put a little Prussian blue in there. I like this lighter blue. I want some more of that purple, but not that much. I think some gold would be great. Right on top of these other colors, because once the colors start to combine, they make a different effect. And I want them out of my way, and I want to think that I might be able to get done. I don't know that that's true. I think there should be a part two, to be honest with you. And I am going to drip this again. And I probably can't finish in time. But I want to bring this up. And down and over and all around. So I'm going to let everything go right down toward that edge catcher. Where I can retrieve that paint if I want to. I love the multi-layered look. When that timer goes off, and I haven't told you that you should look at the link tree underneath the video, I'll be upset with myself, but since I'm telling you now, maybe you should look there. You can look on the community board for tomorrow's video. You can look on Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for, for today's video, almost all the time. I'm in the middle of changing... Ooh, that's kind of cool. I kind of want a little bit more orange with black, and I don't actually have it. So I'm going to grab... I'm going to tell you, this is going to look pretty similar to what it looks like now. But um, it might be a little different, because I don't think it's worth making a part two. It's just going to be the same stuff you're watching right now. I'm going to use my OXO omelet turning spatula, available on the Amazon link, under the link tree, to take all the rest of the paint right out of my container. And then I'm going to throw some more orange in there, and some iridescent pink, and some folk art purple, and maybe a little bit of, if I could have found it, it would have been the Prussian blue, but right now it's not going to be. I love you guys. There's 88,000 of you. That looks pretty good. I'm okay with that. I love the 